Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another showcase video. It's been a little while, uh, but this is a series I really enjoy doing. It's a way of for me to explore new stuff, get some inspiration for myself and hopefully share a little bit of inspiration over on you. Maybe a little bit of drops hit you as well. Um, and today we are on the Aetherius server. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, but it's a build team, an amazing build team. They do have a YouTube channel and they have a server. And I'm gonna leave all of that in the description down below if you want to check it out. Um, today, I just want to walk around this place. This is the city of Satan, I think. Or Satan, or... No, that sounds really wrong. S-E-T-E-N. <laughs> Satan. Uh, Satan. I don't know. Uh, don't ask me, guys. But, but it's really cool. And it's like this post-apocalyptic steampunk-looking... And desert town, you have these flying steam ships, airships, and then you have these like cool classical towers everywhere, but a lot of them are like broken. And as you can see here, there's like this big thing that it might have been a bridge or it might actually have been a tower that has now fallen down, using as a little bit of a bridge. And yeah, it's just a cool area, it's just a super cool concept, and it's really unique. Uh, and I really want to just fly around and walk around the streets and just check stuff out So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure to give these people some love down below in the comment section They really deserve it and uh, I'm looking forward to see what you guys think of this one, please. Let me know So let's just crash land here and just walk uh, This is the kind of stuff that I love just like weird pathways going under things over things uh, yeah, down to different places. This is so cozy. I could see myself sitting here, watching the sunset with some friends, with a campfire. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Uh, and oh, they're making boats and stuff down here. That's really, really cool. And like these trees are epic as well. So basically, I don't know the lore of this place or anything, but it's just fun walking around here and looking at stuff and it's kind it kind of reminds me a little bit of what is this oh oh look at this this is so grand uh, reminds me of Thornsbury so uh, it's a kind of a cool inspiration for that and other desert builds but obviously this is more modern more like steampunk ish but but still like a lot of the techniques that are being used here is really really helpful. Uh, I like the small beaches everywhere, the amount of detail I put into all of this. Um, I'm very surprised, very uh, very good surprise I suppose, uh, about the amount of details and stuff uh, on here. Uh, I was just kind of watching a few cinematics and stuff from the server here and we got in contact and I'm very happy, I'm very pleased. That statue up there looks amazing, what is that? That is really cool. Let's uh, set it to daytime again. Um, yeah, that's beautiful. I like these bigger buildings here as well. Like, yeah, it's a cool combination of classical desert, Roman almost looking, um, and steampunk, slightly modern. One thing I really like about this build is the the layout of the entire city kind of it's on this little rock in the middle of the river here as you can see they haven't finished everything uh, but but it's such a cool shape and idea to have it on that and of course it's very defendable and very kind of realistic as well uh, as long as you could cross the river here somehow it would be a perfect place to settle down and, and build stuff on and there's a little bit of like things happening on the outsides here uh, and again, just the, the mix of the desert classical style and the steampunk, like these railways here. That is so cool, such a nice inspiration. That's so epic. The flying ships, and on the side here is like this, almost like a mining village. It's like, a, yeah, a lot rustier, more rustic. And there's even robots here. It's just such a unique thing. I recommend you comment on here. I'm not sure you'll be able to tour it though. But definitely check out their videos. It's super cool. Uh, and the Ruffians. I don't know what that is. Uh, but it's such a cool thing. It's so unique and just a lot of inspiration for myself. Uh, over there you can see like a big, the biggest building. Like the castle or something. And I'm going to check that out later as well. But wow. I, I, I'm so, so speechless. It's so cool. There's so much stuff happening here. Uh, and it kind of feels 
it, like it works. Like we have floating things, we have hanging bits here and there, uh, there's farms, just a weird mixture of everything, but it so works. We have carts like this, which looks older, and then we have the flying bits, and I don't know. It's just something about it that really works. Is this NPCs? <laughs> That's so cool. Uh, and yeah, towers like this. And here we have a broken tower. That's a nice little detail. And we have these. I don't know what that is. But it's epic. It's so cool. Oh, look at this. Man. <laughs> I'm blown away. Uh, this is way beyond any expectations I had. I've just been watching the videos, as I said, but actually touring it for myself is amazing. Uh, I hope you guys kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. I know I'm all over the place right now, but that's just how I am when I'm excited. Uh, so let's walk over this little bridge here and get into the center of the city here. Uh, I like these beams, but how realistic are they? I don't know. Feels a little bit of a weird placement of some of these chains, but well, well, I, I'll let it go for now. Uh, okay, so we're getting in here. Already a nice use of the fog blocks. That's a cool idea. Just playing a little bit of ambience in here. Just like a sprinkle of that uh, to create a cool little thing. Maybe that's because of the steam powered gate. Who knows? Uh, then we have this very cool small interiors and back streets and stuff like that. And it looks like all of the houses are furnished. Yeah, look at that. Amazing stuff. We can walk around here. We have a little bit of a blacksmith over here. And then we're getting close to the bigger building here, the big boy. Uh, I wonder... Actually, I think I need to go... I need to fly a little bit. Uh, to the front here. That's where the main entrance is, yeah. So, oh, look at this! <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> Oh man, it's it's so so nice. Uh, but let's see if we can get to the main entrance here. Yes, look at this. This is absolutely stunning. It's uh, grand, kind of carved out of the sandstone. And again, we have that classical desert thing, which looks like is slightly ruined. And then they have built like steampunk all over it, and it works. It just works. Uh, this might be a little dark in here, but uh, I'm gonna check it out anyway. Just moving around in here. Yes, this is so cool. Love the big ceiling height here. And like a little market actually in here. So it's not really a castle, it's more like a shopping mall almost. And there's some staircases. Let's see if we can take these up. Yeah, we can. That is cool. And where does this lead? I don't know. It, it almost looks like a bandit's cave or something. Uh, you guys on the server here, please let me know what, what this is. Uh, oh, I'm digging this though. Is this an elevator? It, it might be. Yeah, it does look like an elevator. Wow, that's so nice. And I love the woodwork here, the beams really works. And how does that look from the outside? Again, it just works. It's a little out of place, but, but it works. Because of the, the, the entire area is like a mix of things and I'm digging it. Oh man, it's so cool. The, yeah, man. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of getting speechless here. And these places seems a little unfurnished, but we can live with that. And then the top here is kind of falling apart. This might have been like an observatory or something. Or maybe the entire top. By the looks of it, maybe the entire top was... That's gone. Gone off. Yeah, it looks like the top has kind of blown off. And then these are just arches that are supposed to support the top. So, I wonder if that is because we are close to build height. Yeah, it might be that we're too close to build height. So they decided to, to break it off. Or maybe it's just uh, yeah artistic liberty. It looks cool though. Really works. So yeah, and then we have a lot of these smaller airships and smaller settlements outside here. And what is this? Is this a hermit crab? Wow. <laughs> There's so much unique stuff on here. Uh, I'm so amazed. So happy to just tour around here. Puts a smile on my face. 
And yeah, what is this? Is this an altar or something? Yeah, that's great. Uh, I think I've seen enough. I think, well, probably could spend a couple of hours just walking about here, but I think I've seen enough to make a video on it. And uh, this boat though, it's really cool. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. Really hope that you enjoyed. If so, make sure to hit the like button and give some love to the creators of this stuff down below in the comment section. And I will see all of you guys later. It's been Vigo, man. And I'm out.